Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Q&A. Welcome to my uh, bedroom. <laughs> it's apparently the only place where the sun is directly in the face. So, ah, we're gonna do it in here. Um, I'm just gonna wait for you guys to go online so I know if you can hear me or not. And if the sound is okay, I'm gonna check these email thingies in the meanwhile. Mm, how do I do this? Hey Lina. Hey Garrison. Can you guys hear me? Hi Dalma. Stitchy, can you. Is the voice okay? Hi Marcel. Um, how do I open this? Hey Senna. Super. Good. Awesome. Hi Anouk. Um, waiting for tonight. Whoa. I'm sitting and trying to open these uh, questions, but um, I'm not really sure I know how to. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Where is it? Where is it? So, welcome to this week's Q&A. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, ask them here in the comments below. And I gladly uh, look into it. I got a few ones um, per mail. So I'm just going to find them. And... Whoop. Clearly, I cannot open this mail. Hi, Mark. Um, well, we learn and we learn and we learn. Okay, so I had this one question. I just got it one second ago. And the question are, could you please explain to me what? Wait. I send you some questions for the Q&A um, and send you problem to your iPad. So here are my questions. No. This is bad, guys. Hi, Annette. Hey, Yurian. Hey, Peter. So we're going to give people a bit of time to tap in while I obviously don't know how to open this correctly. <laughs> Apparently, it wasn't meant to be. Here! Ah, we got it. Okay. Hey, Lisa. Uh, I went to a health therapist and he told me that my nervous system is too sensitive and my liver energy is too low. What is your view on this? Um, it is, as it is with many sensitive people, that the nerve system the nerve system is what is triggered first and it is what stays triggered, triggered the longest. So even that we do a lot of cleaning and we, we fix it on the emotionally layer, more or less on the physical layer, what really truly always is triggered over and over again is the nerve system. So if your nerve system is sensitive, it most of the time is complaining with you have gone through traumas and gone through things that have shocked you. On different levels and you're probably one of the sensitive ones so therefore uh, my view is that he's right your nerve system is sensitive my nerve system is sensitive but what we can do is that we can look into get to understand our nerve system get to understand what it responds on and why and learn relearn the neurons in our brain to connect with the nerve system in a form where we are able to integrate more love and ease within the nerves again. There's a lot of different ways of doing this. Um, one of the ways is to apply more softness into yourself, softness in, and kindness to yourself, more love in your everyday life. And um, 
also to relearn that every time you are used to go into the state of trauma, you relearn your body system that nothing happens. So to replace the trauma with more softness in your system. Whoa. One second. Ah! I'm always breaking this apartment. Whoops. <laughs> So yesterday, yesterday the wind literally broke my door, and today it was, uh, yeah, it almost broke the camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so guys, this is a uh, online Q and A. So in order of it to work, you guys need to ask questions in the comments below. To go back to the one with the nerve system, um, there's nothing bad in having a sensitive nerve system. The only thing is just that you need to regain trust within yourself not only on a mental level but also on a physical level and uh, integrating more of your soul within the physical shape yeah. nerve system is also something you can work on in the way that you eat in the way that you move in the way that you remember to sleep and more or less you can apply it into your everyday life to have a sensitive nerve system is not a bad thing at all i think i already said that but it is a thing that requires that you dare to look deeper within yourself it is a thing that requires that or that shows you that you've been through a lot that you have been on the tip of your toes for a longer time and it's about time to redraw refine strength within oneself and rise up once again um let's see and your liver energy is low so we are back to this thing I can show you these kind of colors <laughs> liver uh, and kidneys is a lot with anger or resistment or resist resisting and it is to release that and fulfill your life with joy and to fulfill your life with trust and faith um, for many people they are exactly working on that right now the emotionally level that level of self-trust self-confident and dare to rise up once again within oneself we are in right now in a time where there's so many changing going on uh, as a global and it brings up so much change within ourselves. it brings up so much old wounds that needs to be looked at not because that we need to once again go through it in the form of us doing something wrong but it is created in the form that it helps us to look at it in a different way it helps us to understand it from a different angle where we may be able to integrate and use it in a new way in a new form that can help us to bring that can help us with bringing us uh, further in life to what's where we wish to go um so guys <laughs> to do an unlike q a i need you guys questions so if there's anything on your heart in your mind please write it in the comment below and we will look into it um yeah for myself i've been here for soon uh three and a half months Woo! in the same place wow and I will be leaving soon. We'll go to Budapest. In, and uh, yeah, I, I, I look forward, but I also really saw the value in this time. And I think that goes from all of us. It, yes, yay! We got a question. Shasky. Hi, Lisa. I feel so distant lately. Have you got any idea what is going on? Hi, Brian. Uh, Shaki. Yeah, so one thing is that what is going on within oneself, another thing is what is going on as a collective. If you look at the massive changes we've been going through, the massive changes of mirrors we had had to look at and the energy impulses that have been going on at a certain point, we need to zoom out in order of letting go to reshape into oneself. So um, what is going on is that <laughs> In a form, everything became too much, and you need to recenter and just be, just be. Sometimes we are so busy doing that we're forgetting that 
through just being, magic is created. So do not fear this moment of numbness or this moment of being disconnected. The truth is you are always connected, but you are probably disconnected to your everyday life, which in a certain form is a good thing. I myself have been linked to that feeling as well. It's very funny. <laughs> so you're like, okay, I want to do something. You go out and you're just in a different dimension, you know? So the truth is so much is being integrated on our planet at, as we speak in this moment. So many layers. So as you are a sensitive soul, you are feeling this shift. And don't worry, you will recenter. Just give yourself time and space and take one day at a time. Hello, how can I help people with my energy? How can I help people with my energy? How can I help you with energy? Greetings, Cynthia. The best thing we can do is being the example. The best thing we can do is facing every single moment which pops up and make sure that what we choose to share with the world is the love and the kindness from our hearts. It is that we are authentic, not to put on a face or put on a mask, but um, to take responsibility for our own feelings and share the love. What I mean, for example, is when we walk out and we meet people on the street, they might be angry, they might be hurt. We have two choices. Either we can judge them and say, oh, it's so annoying, everybody's angry. or we can be that one person who brings the smile to the table. That is our choice. I believe that through authenticity, authentic, through being authentic, <laughs> we are bringing the most light and honesty to our planet in this moment. By being authentic to what's ourself, there is less struggle going on within and when less struggle is going on within it's so much easier to see other clearly and to be there for one and another um, and thank you for asking what do you like uh, about fasting a day what do you like about fasting a day in the month okay Anouk. so i recently made this group i think i called it 32 hours of fasting and as I told I, as I told before I'm not really into concepts and this whole intimate fasting is quite a concept <laughs> but what I do realize and what I do see is that within people's system if we help them to get a break from all the impulses of of toxins or comfort or all these things we use as I escape if we give them this amount of space to break them out of their everyday life it gives them a possibility to look from a different angle to feel deeper within and to reset the systems once in a while so imagine how much we need to digest every day imagine how much um, for many people, how many chemicals you are eating during a day and how many, how much we actually are influenced by that. So by taking a day in the month, as I said, to just take a break from it all. Take a break from everyday life, take a break from routines, take a break from even how we eat, right? It, it, it allows us to step out in order of coming deeper in. And... Um, and I really feel that that has a lot of benefit for, for us <laughs> as a collective. How can we integrate with the sun and get more healing and vitamin D? The sun is a part of us. A sun, the sun is deep within our eyes if we look into each other's eyes. So it is as it is with everything else alive. It is the moment that you set the intention, the moment that you link to it with an open heart of space of love, you are one. You will integrate the biggest value from it as you are reflecting back the love to that. So exactly the same way as you do when you bless your water is that you just acknowledge the sun. You look at the sun 
not for too long though because apparently that's not allowed <laughs> well over time when your eyes get used to it anyhow but you look at the sun you feel the sun you breathe it in and you make a feeling conscious choice of connecting to it with gratefulness and you are one vitamin d is just a word upon an energy source that you are getting from the sun or in different forms we we need to know that every single word that we give something is just a word for the energy that it represents nothing else everything is energy everything there is nothing else uh, hi lisa i love this time i feel happier and than i've been for a long time i love the energy in this time hi heidi oh that's great <laughs> It is super, well, there is a lot going on and for some it's hard, for some it's super exciting. For me it's actually just everything, as it is when every other day in the life, um, because I feel it all. But it is a beautiful time, it is a beautiful change. It is a beautiful uh, opening for possibilities for us all as, a, as one. Hi Lisa, can you tell me why my energy can be blocked? Yes. Um, can you tell me why the energy, why why my energy can be blocked? So we all have been through something in our past, right? In this life or past life, and we are reflecting that. So sometimes these traumas are holding us back for daring to fully express ourselves or daring us to be fully authentic so the block that we are creating is something that we use as protection because of what once happened so the blocks that comes up is because a part of you are believing that you have to protect yourself the best way of getting rid of these blocks is to understand why you created them in the first place so really truly thank the block thank you for protecting me thank you for being there thank you for looking after me but there is no there's no danger anymore so i am ready and i'm willing to let you go try it out hi isabella will you cry leaving holland <laughs> marshall no <laughs> but this world like I believe that we belong to the world, right? And uh, yeah, if we are in one country or in another country, we just go wherever the heart wants us to go. And it's never sad to leave because you're never really gone. You can just go back whenever time is for it. You, um, Rian. Uh, why do you think so many beautiful spiritual people are single in these times? <laughs> so there has been this part of transcendence right there's been this part where all these light beings had to learn to look at themselves they had to learn to integrate and put themselves in the first place so they've been working on that for a longer period and in that some people can get lost in me 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 that there's actually no room for us another part is that for most of them um, they're just not ready yet. It takes time to fully integrate that oneness within oneself in order of being able to collide and connect with somebody on the same level outside of oneself. So there's these two parts and um, a third part. Um, yeah, so <laughs> as we for a longer period of time have talked so much about oneness and going in within oneself and and it's all about uh, seeing everybody else as a mirror of you, so there only is you. Ah! <laughs> now is actually the time for us to realize that we are collective, right? So we had to dive deep within oneself in order of realizing that we belong together. It doesn't necessarily have to be in marriages or relationships as a partner, but as a collective. I believe that it's a good thing to redraw once in a while, to refine oneself, and from there you will find out whoever you are supposed to be a vibrationally matched to. 
there's a lot of people who feel lonely. There's a lot of people who feel that they're different. There's a lot of people who feel there's no way that anyone can ever, you know. <laughs> um, so when that is in your vibrations, then that is what you send out. When you, within oneself, go through the loneliness and start to actually liking to be within the energy that you have, you are able to attract this other person. That was a fourth part of it, because it's such a general uh, question. Um, was there anything else linked to that? In this time, it's just needed for people to dive deep. What we often can do in relationships is that we can disappear in them in a form where we don't look where I have to be looked. It can be an escape way. It can also be the most healing thing on the planet when the time is right. So all the single the spiritual people don't lose faith. Everything is exactly how it's supposed to be. Take one step at a time, listen to your heart and no need to force anything. Not at all. Whatever is meant to be will happen and occur absolutely naturally. Uh, Isabella. Oh, thank you. I put like this cocoa oil in it and now I don't know. Now it feels weird, you know, but I'm happy you like it. Um, I, ooh, wow. I'm so sorry I'm pronouncing this name wrong. Au, 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 I think it's beautiful, but I don't know how to say it right. Aukje. Aukje van Gielen. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Lots has changed for me since Corona. Uh, mainly on the job front. Basically, all I did vanished into the air. Oh, let's see. Vanished into the air, which I know and I feel is okay. All there is left is my own practice as an animal communicator. But I can't make a complete living out of it, uh, which makes me doubt whether it's meant to be or what I should do. So I am in a situation where I have to start looking for another parting job to support myself and my practice. Or should I completely go for my practice? Could you please advise me on this one? Oh, I just the light thing. Um, and let's see. Hey, sweetie. Okay. Um, so this time, and I understand that you need the money, but this time was really a, a time where it was required for us to sink deeper within. It was required for us to to search for a part or get give space to a part <laughs> within us that needed a voice. You were part of this process. So if we would have give you a lot of work until now, there would have been no space for you to actually seek that amount of deep within oneself to feel that part. As I see it right now, you are not fully there yet. And I do understand that you are thinking about, should I do this or should I do that? What if you make a deadline? What if you tell yourself, okay, from now on, I give myself two weeks, three weeks, I don't know, not thinking about if I should do this job or that job. I just do the hours that I have. And beside that, I use the energy to search within or just be and see what pops up. I'm sure you will within yourself have the answer at the end of week three. One once told me that you're so good in answer question without giving the answers. <laughs> Sorry, here is my question. What should be my next move? Uh, okay, let's, this is a long one. Hi, Simon. Um, sorry, so this is my question. What should be my next move? More education for myself or me giving to other what I have already learned? Mm -hmm. I love these questions. So what do you feel like? What do you want to do? Try it out. I, um, there is no right, there is no wrong, okay? And um, if I look into you, I think, no, I shouldn't say. If I look into you, you need to just make a choice and go for it. I know that you're not finished educating yourself, no. But you are at a point where you feel that you have something to pass on. 
So maybe take time, seek within, feel what it is you wish to share with the world. And when something pops up you want to learn more about or you are questioning in life, then you go for that. One doesn't necessarily leave out the other. You can do both. So now I kind of answered it, even I should have showed it up. Mm. Isabella, does it really help to eat yellow food to heal the solar plexus chakra? Yes, so everything is about intention, right? Um, I, I always eat the colors, I always eat the food after the colors that I am attracted to, which is obviously the colors that I need. So today I ate beetroot and carrots, which is the whole grounding thing. We have a lot of this grounding thing going on because that is obviously not my strongest side. If your intention is to work on your on your uh, solar plexus chakra and you eat yellow, you feel the sun, um, then that intention is only amplified by what you are linking it to so you can search deeper within that. Of course you don't heal with, if you just eat yellow and you don't look into it emotionally or consciously, it has to be um, you guys working together as one unit. Watching Cindy. Hey, there you write for your own account. <laughs> Thanks for your answer. Answer. What do I need to do now first to be more authentic? How do you feel right now? And um, when you don't feel good, do you allow it? When people step over your borders, do you sit stop? If you want to dance and be weird, do you do it? If you like to walk around in a blue shirt and nothing else a whole day, even outside, do you do that or not? Like being authentic is just being true to yourself. It's being honest to every moment. How was your day? Oh, fine. Really? So when people ask me how my day was, I always go like, nah. <laughs> because I cannot answer with one word, you know? So being authentic is just being true to every moment within yourself. It doesn't necessarily mean that we have to to tell everybody that they are this and they and that and I feel this, but it is for you to be honest, not just sit and smile if you're sad. Be okay with your sadness, be okay with your anger, be okay with your happiness, be okay with every single moment of your life because it is yours. <laughs> there is nothing else. And as more authentic we are to ourselves, what we feel, what we are, as less stagnation goes on in our system and as more do the people around us know us. We often feel alone within situations, within family visits and etc. because we feel not seen, right? But we have to ask ourselves, how should people be able to see us if we don't share with them who we are? Most people are not seers. They cannot see through uh, your, your wall, you know? So for them to understand you, you need to present you. You need to dare to be you so they can see you and from there on some will fall fall, fall away <laughs> because they are not a match to that part of you and others would come closer because they really love what they see um, Bart, hey Marky thank you Lisa and yes you pronounce my name correctly yes awesome <laughs> cindy yeah, thank you for your answer uh what do you do to be more friendly can i help people the way that i'm doing right now um i don't know if i'm at the right paths don't dare to make a choice well guess what your lesson is right now it is for you to dare to make a choice and there's nothing right there's nothing wrong so if you don't feel you are on the right path then stop walking out of it stop off for a moon and, and look around what else is there what do my heart wants 
what makes me feel joy or what makes me feel exciting or what am my heart longing for and then try it out you have nothing to lose if i don't fit into childcare oh i thought it said childcare adoption i thought what education <laughs> because it gets i get stressed uh, is it because I should make a new education or work with children in another way? So, um, you guys have so many questions about your work. You have so many questions about, should I do this work or that work? Let's drop the concepts of work, okay? And let's look into, uh, what do your heart desire? What are you here for? What feels as your sole purpose because you cannot not do it. And then which category you give it, it doesn't matter. Honestly, the universe don't care if you are child taker, caker, child children, somebody <laughs> in a kindergarten or somebody in a school. They don't care if you heal with stones or you heal without stones. What they care about is you fully doing uh, your mission here. And the form that it takes, it is up to your free will. It is up to your creativity. It's your creations. It's your own creation of the universe that you want to bring into this life within this moment. So if something feels too hard, if a protocol or a box feels that you don't fit in it then step out and then create your own box or take it from a different angle and see if that fits you better we are here to change the world if we would fit in in the box that's already created we would not provide change we are supposed to be misfits because only through that we can recreate a world that we wish to be a part of hi Johnny. Hey Helle, <laughs> Franz, Frank, Richard, cool, so we ran out of questions already. Um, okay, why don't we wait for a few more questions. Um, a lot of people are in this changing time thinking about changing work because that they've cannot be at the work that where they were or they feel oh there we have it feels right to create and change thanks love you're welcome uh, i am caught i am encouraged i am broken knee but i still hope for a miracle i'm <laughs> i am encouraged maybe it's great with the broken knee, but I still hope for a miracle. <laughs> I really have to work on my English. Uh, how do you see the energy right now? Is, is there something happening at the moment? There's definitely something happening at the moment. <laughs> so, um, as we know, there has been a lot of portals opened uh, on a positive way. And at the same time, with the positive arises, the dark has to try to go lower, right? So we have these two streams streaming like this all the time. Um, and within that is these open spaces that we can tap in and out of. In this moment, we are so much aware of being the creators. We are so much aware of the free choice. But because of so much fear is floating around the planet, we are still in the bubble where we keep attracting the prison that we're trying to come loose of. In this moment, uh, <laughs> there is new gates opening with new possibility. There is, it's like there's coming more light and more support. Um, and we just need to be aware of that we can ask for help, that we can tap into it, that we are already free. Um, so really become conscious about that we are the creators of our own reality. That is something within this time that we need to look deeper within. 
the funny part is that we already chose that what, what we wanted to do before arriving here but how we choose to do it um, is up to us so that is going on they keep saying this thing about two gateways are opening I guess you may know what they mean Helle <laughs> but that's it two gates are open um, and there is this big shift going on that everybody will be feeling Monday morning um, if you want any deeper uh, respond, please just uh, write underneath. I will love to take dive deeper. Do you think we will openly meet our extraterrestrial family during this uh, lifetime? In other words, become the next level of humanity in intergalactic beings. So... The, okay. The extraterrestrials have been uh, considering showing up in um, in 3D form, which is obviously not 3D because you're only able to see it if you are beyond the 5D within oneself, but showing up physical on the planet. They have done before, uh, but humanity wasn't really ready and they're not sure that they're ready now, plus that we need to be able to allow them in in some form of these gateways and um, if you ask if we if it will happen or not the decision is not yet made but it is happening just not that much yet and it is a possible outcome the corona gate yeah they for sure <laughs> um, political so much is going on on our planet intergalactical so much is going on in our planet system and on a personal level we are here to choose that change i always have this conversation with uh, nikolai tesla and albert einstein i really love them they keep repeating for me every time i get lost in emotions or whatever they say elisa everything is energy and vibration there is nothing else than that and I think they're annoying you, but I love them so much. So I don't really mean that you're annoying, but what they mean with it is that as we are creative of our own realities, we are responsible for our own being, for what we send out, for what we wish to represent on this planet, for what we wish to feed. It is good to be conscious about everything which is going on in the world, but we need to choose what we want to feed. Do we want to feed joy and happiness? Do we want to feed fear? If we feel f afraid, we should definitely be it, but go through it. Or do we want to stay within it? These choices are ours. If we are in difficult situation with a lot of hurt, do we wish to stay in this? Is that what our life path told us to do? Or do we wish to go through it and see what is on the other side, on the unknown? If we are stuck, in work situations where we do not feel home where we feel not seen do we want to stay here or do we want to step into the unknown and see whatever will happen um, Dave what is your opinion on virus solutions the virus doesn't need to be saluted it was never created to stay here for long it was created to strike fast, strike hard, and disappear again. So the solution is for people just in general to look deeper within their health, deeper within their self-care, deeper within love and safety, safety within, and the feeling of uh, being part of the whole. To disconnect and disattach and stay in fear, it's not gonna help. It's always good to boost your immune system. It's always good to raise your vibration within. And then you will not be a match for it to kill you or something like that. Um, I don't believe that vaccines is uh, any solution. I believe that the virus will, it will fix itself. It is a living organism like everything else. Do we feed it? Do we just accept it and let it pass away? Um, 
him. Awesome, yeah! So you communicate with Tesla and Einstein, dope. <laughs> well, honestly, I think they communicated more with me. It's so funny, I love it. It's sometimes like when you look inside of their brains, Wow, it goes so fast and in all these numbers and shapes and forms and sometimes to translate that into human understanding it's it's not always easy to put into words, you know. But I really love them. I love them for what they discovered when they were here and well what they passed on from the knowledge which was here before they even arrived and what we now <laughs> are able to learn from them. They are yeah close to my heart for sure and there is so much to learn. What I really love is that we put so much trust within doctors and so much trust within history, science, right? But come on, what is science? What is doctors? What is uh, psychologist? It is a man-written book for what he found out. From out of what? From out of feelings, from out of experience, from out of the universe. So, this written book, why don't we re rewrite it? Why don't we bring the extra aspect? A true scientist needs to bring in spirituality in order of expansion, in order of understanding the underlying. Everything that we measure, everything, even the measure itself, is a name that we gave it for something which is energy and friction and vibration. It is nothing else. So, clearly, they are right around my head. <laughs> um, I feel the next year will be time to organize your festival, Elisa. Hope you will do that. I would love to. So, if you're gonna organize my festival, I will show up. <laughs> I will love it, it would be awesome. Oh, festival, yeah, full of people and joy and love and sharings and truthfulness that would be amazing I know I have the power to feed joy and happiness and I know I need to help people but sometimes keep my captured what is capturing me? Cynthia go face yourself go face your emotions go face your anger go face your doubts go face all the parts within you you don't like by facing it, you will stop suppressing it and stop trying to be somewhere where you are not yet. You need to face you. Every single aspect of you. It is important and give it love. There is nothing wrong. We are here to experience the full emotion on the aspect. The only thing is just for us to stay stuck in the lower vibration for too long is not beneficial anymore. Albert Einstein is incarnated as Mark Zuckerberg. No, he's not. Uh, you have communication with those living, uh, I so call Agatha, Ag Agatha, Agatha, in the earth too, like beings from tools, for example. The in the earth beings, yes, I do. They are so beautiful. They are so beautiful. And they have so much knowledge, and they have been here for so long, and they are so wise and soft and curious at the same time and that was part of them that wished that they could integrate with the above earth um, just to understand us but for them we feel heavy for them we feel unaware to a certain degree and yet they are reacting more on instincts than we are um, there's of course different kind of beings but the ones i see uh, has a lot of joy within them i mostly talk with the young ones <laughs> Uh, from the inner earth um, but they are so beautiful and they are presenting themselves more and more for being above earth and I'm pretty sure that within a certain amount of time we will realize uh, that there is an inner earth for those who don't know it yet uh, Isabella, I know I know it's the founder of Facebook but the founder of Facebook is not Albert Einstein nope um here sometimes i feel like this is a whole world going to well i don't know how to push the i have to push the see more but okay 
Sometimes I feel like there is a whole world going on beside of me. Sometimes I feel it's very close, but it's like I'm afraid of really seeing it. So I don't see, but I feel. Maybe I am afraid to lose control of it, or that I can't go back if I want it to. But I also feel that I am missing something. What do I do? I'm going to go out of this sun street there. Boop! Did it work? Almost. Um, you accept where you are. You accept where you are. You don't have to see. It is more than enough to feel. You are not missing out of something that you don't already know. So whenever you are ready to see, if you are supposed to see, it will come. If you feel that you are blocking it, what you can do is you can look into why am I blocking it? What am I afraid of? And you can look into the fear aspect. But the truth is that you are not controlling when you are feeling or seer. That happens automatically whenever you are ready to it, for it. Okay guys, I think uh, this was it for today. Um, next week, this Q&A will be somewhere in Budapest. Yay! It's gonna be awesome. And remember, if you have any questions that you would like to ask that I didn't ask, you can always send them per email to me or tap in next week at 7 o'clock. I will do it on a Friday, I promise. <laughs> so for now, I love you guys and have a beautiful, beautiful day. Mwah!